Hi guys, I'm Harley and this video is more of an information video. It's not about fear mongering, but there is a massive problem in China called coronavirus. Uh, it's an epidemic and that caused a little bit of problem in the vaping industry. Why? Because the vast majority of vapes are manufactured in China and pretty much all the coils and atomizers, blah, blah, blah are made in China. So does this cause a real problem? Let's find out. Oh. Hi guys, I'm Holly from Bitmore, you know me. Um, yesterday somebody, uh, a friend of mine, and you've seen him on videos as well, Kyle, he said we're going to have a coil shortage. And I went, uh, yeah, possibly. And that got me thinking when I went home, uh, and I know that the media and how human nature works, there's going to be a lot of fear mongering and panicking going on about that. So I figured, do a quick video, not a fear mongering video, just an information, factual video, ask around a few manufacturers and suppliers, and see what we all say. So, the email I wrote said, Hello, I have a few questions relating to stock levels in regards to the coronavirus. It is no secret that the vast majority of vape manufacturers are based in China, Smok, Vupu, Geek Vape, Inikin, and so on. Most companies across China are not working due to the coronavirus outbreak, uh, including shipping companies. This obviously leads to concerns about stocking issues across the industry, especially in regards to optimizers slash coils, because they're the biggest sellers, guys. My questions. Are you currently having stock shortages in regards to coils? If not, do you expect to? Um, what about vape DIY? What about vape DIY coil wire? and cotton, what would your advice to vapors who use Chinese manufactured products be? Thank you very much for your time, Harley. Um, and what I'm getting back is roughly the same message. Uh, I don't know if a lot of you saw the news, because I know the news only like to push negativity. Uh, the vast majority of China are now back on the way to work, the manufacturing plants are opening back up, the public transport is opening back up. So if there is a shortage in all sale, it should now start to recuperate and all sales should be starting to receive things back. Because also don't forget there'll be a lot of postage, I mean I'm waiting for postage from China that was about to be sent and never got sent. So hopefully that will arrive in the next week or so. So as of any time now, parcels will start to arrive and stock will start going up. The manufacturers will bang on. And obviously there will be a slight backlog, but it should pick up a lot faster than you'd expect. The, I sent them emails last night and it's currently 11 o'clock, so only one person has got back to me so far. And I'm not going to say the name of that company because I didn't tell it for a video and I don't think that would be very fair. Um, but good morning, Harley, thank you for your email. In regards to our Chinese suppliers, we've had confirmation that they will be reopened and our orders are being processed. They have reopened, sorry. We have already received, received deliveries from China and our purchasing department was informed by our suppliers that they are focusing on producing coils as they are the biggest sellers. As for DIY coils, we only have two of our coil or pre-made coil SUKs out of stock. And we have a Geek Vape 6-in-1 coil pack in stock, however we do not stock DIY coil wire. Uh, Carton we have the stock caught in stock, body body blah, blah. If you have any inquiries, don't forget to uh, fear to get in touch, blah blah. blah. Um, and that's the general centre screen around here. We've not run out, uh, but we're a bit low on stock on a few things, but China's back in action. So then I talked to UK vapor brands. Now Sarah's a rep, she's lovely, she's ace, and she's always got one back. So I thought, well, UK vapor brands, Vaping brands based in the UK, that's a good turn to solution if things go to the worst. So I had a quick browse online and it turns out UK vape manufacturers, which include the companies Tech, T-E-C-C, Wismec, E-Leaf and Joytech. Um, and I started to notice that Wismec and Wild Rovers were based in China. So I thought, well, if they are, chances are they're all going to be based in China. So I had a look, uh, and I messaged Sarah, who was a blessing in this research, and I just said, Oh Sarah, just for person, 
more, <coughs> oh sorry, just the person. More of a general question. All of UK vape brands are based in the UK, but do they all ma manufacture in China? And you replied, hey Harley, yes, Tech was made Ely for Joytech. We're all good in stock, our core range of products too. And they're all manufactured to UK regulations. As you'd expect, and we all are. Don't we put off the fact that they're China guys, because I mean, everyone is smoke, foo poo, everyone. Um, the upper sound. I'm not gonna lie, I'm doing a vlog today, blah blah blah. blah. Uh, the idea behind the video is information, not fear mongering. I'm hearing from a lot of distros that they return back to work, blah blah blah. And she put, and then she went on to say that although they are manufactured in China, they do hold a massive um, stock of because all these companies work together through UK vapor brands as like a coalition. So they all help each other out, they've all got each other's backs, and that creates a bigger stock. Um, but still, in my art, although we're alright at the minute, and we're probably going to be alright, the World Health, uh, the World Health Organization sorry, is doing a really good job at containing this virus and sorting it. Um, to the point where China's now back to work. So what do we do, do if the worst comes to worst and it happens again in the future or it spins out of control again? Well, I've been sat thinking and pondering about this and thinking I can't really find, although there will be brands, and I know there is certain uh, RDA manufacturers in China, in America and stuff, that doesn't really help us now. So... Uh, <clears throat> they're very few and we can't all just go on and buy them because they won't be able to handle the workload. So looking for more and more solutions, I decided what about rebuildables? Now, this is a plausible solution for everybody. When it comes to that China goes, that's it, not working with you guys anymore, or sorry, we're not shipping out because we've got a virus, what do we do? Well, RDAs, RTAs, beep, 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 um, it can be bought pretty much anywhere. For you that don't know how to build, any shop that's worth its salt will help you, will teach you, will show you, or maybe even do it for you. Uh, I know I do it for people if you just wanted to pass it on for a couple of weeks. And then you think, well that's no good, I like a cigarette type feel. There is also mouth to lung uh, rebuildables as well. So my message at the minute is pretty much, and then you think, well, yeah, but Harley, what about uh, wire? That's good manufacturing in China. Well, it's not. I mean, Kempful.com, I've just been speaking to them, and their Kempful's manufactured predominantly in Sweden. So you have got alternatives if the worst ever comes to. So when people are saying to you, I'm going to be short your coils, not to do, there will always be another solution unless your country shuts off completely and don't let anybody in anywhere out. Um, up until that point, which is very, very unlikely, and if it does happen, it'll only be for a short period of time. It won't be for like a year. Um, then you'll be sorted. But as for now, the message is pretty much anyone around the world that's telling you you're going to run out of coils. If, if they do run out of coils, it'll only be for a short term. Um, but especially at the minute, when the manufacturers are back in manufacturing, the shipping is starting to go out. If anyone's going to be out of stock, it's going to be for a couple of days, a couple of weeks at the very most. And like I said, the message I'm getting from the wholesalers is we've got the stock um, to hold us on for another couple of weeks, but we're not going to have to hold on for another couple of weeks because the shipments are coming in. So there you go. That uh, fear of has been debunked in my eyes. You're not going to have to, but if it ever comes to, we can all go on to rebuildable. <laughs> and yeah, alright, fair enough, rebuildables are quite popularly made in China as well. But you know, um, so if you are a doomsday prepper, I suggest you uh, go and buy a mouse lung RTA, RDA, or a normal RTA, RDA. Um, if you're not a doomsday prepper, then don't wickle because wickle. Sorry, my yolks are coming out in me. If you aren't a doomsday prepper, then don't worry about it because these guys have got your back, and the situation at the minute is nowhere near as big as the media would like to think. It's constantly in your face, it's making you think, oh god, but you are genuinely pretty safe at the moment, and so are your vapes, and so are your coils. Should do not wickle. I also forgot to mention that 
Cotton's manufactured worldwide as well, so you're not going to rely on China for that. Um, but there you go, guys. Simple facts. One last update. I was talking to another supplier that's just got back to me about on WhatsApp, and they've said the only coil they've struggled to get stuck with is the Aspire BVC. But like I said, don't take that as a fear thing or a negative thing. That's just one man, that's just one wholesaler. No other wholesalers mentioned that product. So, like I say, if your shop ain't got any chances, I'll be willing to get some in the next couple of weeks anyway. And that also will probably get some supply soon because manufacturers are turning back to work in China. So there you go. Stop being negative, be positive. Don't worry, be happy. And don't forget, while you're not worrying and you're being happy, you got to stay cloudy.